హే గైస్ వెల్కమ్ టు ది లినక్స్ ఛానల్ సో ఆఫన్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇష్యూస్ విత్ విపిఎన్ నెట్వర్క్స్ ఇన్ కేస్ ఇఫ్ యూ యూజ్ ఇట్ ఇన్ యువర్ కార్పొరేట్ నెట్వర్క్స్ ఈస్ ద ఇష్యూ ఆఫ్ ఇన్ఫ్లేషన్ ఆఫ్ ద ప్యాకెట్స్ అండ్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ డ్యూ టు ద సేమ్ ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఇస్ ఎనీ నియర్ ఎంటీ ప్యాకెట్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు రిజల్ట్ ఇన్ మోర్ ప్యాకెట్ ఫ్రాగ్మెంటేషన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యూస్డ్ ఎక్స్టెన్సివ్లీ సో ఐ కెన్ డెమాన్స్ట్రేట్ విత్ దిస్ సెట్ ఆఫ్ లెగో బ్రిక్స్ అషిమ్ దిస్ ఈస్ యువర్ Uh, typical uh, network packet uh, which is around uh, mtu sized packet so there is no more uh, room left for the same in this case uh, what happens is in case if you apply uh, a vpn tunnel on the same so essentially what happens is you can assume uh, this red color brick is your uh, transport header which is uh, going to be tcp or udp header and this yellow color uh, <coughs> brick is going to be your uh, you know payload of your uh, application data and then now uh, this blue brick is going to be your ipv4 or ipv6 header and this the white brick is going to be your uh, data link layer or uh, layer 2 or ethernet header so in this case what happens is in case if you apply a vpn tunnel so it is going to add an extra header uh, say something like a an extra ipv4 header or else uh, some kind of uh, uh, vpn uh, uh, encryption header and things like that so in that case what happens is it's going to add one or more extra header so let's represent it with this uh, black brick so what happens is it is going to add an extra header and on top again it is going to put back the relevant data link layer header or ethernet header so in this uh, transformation what happens is the packet size increases and it gets beyond the mtu size so this way what happens is uh, to compensate it has to fragment a, this specific packet so it is going to generate another small packet something like this and uh, again on top of this it may have to add this extra header so that it gets uh it gets uh, passed across the wire appropriately in the tunnel so what happens is essentially this is going to uh, degrade your vpn performance and this is what it is going to first it is going to cause uh, lots and lots of uh, packet fragmentation and uh, the net effect is uh, once you apply vpn uh, tunnels in your corporate network it is going to degrade your uh, wan performance essentially no matter how uh, critical is your wan network uh, you know if you don't use any uh, tunneling uh, uh, mechanisms or else vpns on the same it's going to work uh, fine uh, uh, you know uh, in case if it is uh, deployed on a satellite network or something like that it is going to work fine but once you start applying any sort of you know vpn network uh, uh, vpn tunnels uh, because essentially you need to connect uh, to couple of your uh, you know branch offices uh, with your headquarters and it is going to have a a uh, private network uh, you know uh, addressing the mechanism so you need to connect uh, your uh, local uh, networks of uh, remote offices uh, uh, branch offices all together with uh, you know vpn network so in this scenario what happens is this is what exactly happens it in, it is going to degrade your uh, uh, wan performance essentially so this case what happens is in case if you use uh, uh, toffee and uh, if you uh, optimize your uh, existing vpn uh, tunnels with toffee what happens is uh, before even uh, you apply or uh, uh, create a vpn tunnel uh, in case if you are processing via toffee what happens is toffee is going to optimize this specific packet and it is uh, going to anyway optimize uh, this particular application payload as well as the transport payload and it is going to generate something like a much smaller uh, frame uh, or a packet so we can assume somewhat like this so let me not put this uh, brick it is not appropriate instead let me put something like this okay so it is going to optimize and it is going to packet somewhat like this so on top of it in case if you apply your uh, vpn tunnel what happens is it is going to add this extra header and it is again going to replace this uh, you know uh, ethernet header so this way what happens is may not need to do any sort of fragmentation of these you know toffee optimized packets and this way your uh, performance of vpn networks is going to be somewhat like you know uh, uh, somewhat uh, it is going to be better and uh, it is uh, not going to get much uh, packet fragmentation issues and uh, as well as uh, sometimes you should understand even if you just encrypt your uh, 
you know uh, network uh, data payload it is also going to sometimes uh, may you know inflate your size of these packets so this is the kind of disadvantage with you know uh, applying any sort of uh, vpn tunnels on top of your existing network infrastructure because it is uh, it is going to add uh, some kind of extra information some metadata as a part of your uh, you know data encryption so even the encryption is going to add some extra amount of data uh, with your uh, you know bare minimum whatever you you know present it to the uh, encryption stack or the encryption apis or your encryption hardware so it has to add some kind of metadata and sometimes it depends it it may add some few extra bytes here and there so just due to encryption also it is going to inflate your you know uh, packet uh, data length and uh, as well as uh, when you uh, apply any sort of tunnel assume let's assume you are not encrypting your uh, data because it is assume uh, it's already been encrypted by your application applications uh, which you are using network applications we are you are using it can be a remote uh, uh, ms sql or remote uh, oracle database uh, connectivity or uh, some kind of uh, mainframe application some kind of uh, uh, portals uh, you know uh, bill processing uh, portals and uh, stuff like that so assume it is already been on uh, ssl uh, connection so in this case assume you, uh, you don't want to encrypt this uh, uh, packet so in that case uh, even if you just leave the encryption part it is anyway have to add any kind of extra headers uh, so that uh, to facilitate uh, you know the vpn tunnel so in that case what happens is uh, it is going to add the you know public ip and other references so that this packet can be uh, transferred via public infrastructure like internet so this is anyway going to again inflate the size of the packet it's just going to be uh, a packet which is just above the boundary range so this is what makes it critical and it, since it is crossing the mtu limit it has to fragment these kind of packets so this is what is the main uh, overhead of any kind of vpn network so in case if you use toffee it is going to limit the possibilities of the same because it is anyway going to optimize the packets uh, uh, in uh, per packet of, you know protocol level so in this way it has both the deduplication and as well as uh, lossless compression and stuff like that so since it works on you know discrete packets and uh, it works on uh, you know byte level on each packet it is going to optimize these packets and when you pass these packets via your existing vpn tunnels uh, it doesn't have to fragment in most cases so that the advantage of using the toffee in any kind of uh, existing corporate or vpn uh, network so toffee doesn't have any kind of you know vpn option so it is just uh, uh, it is just going to be your existing vpn infrastructure and before you pass your data you can pass uh, through a toffee device and then uh, you can optimize the packets and then in the remote uh, in the remote office you can have again a vpn uh, device followed by you can have a, a toffee device so that it can extract whatever packets it has received and then convert back to its original form so this is what it exactly happens so hope you guys uh, liked watching this video guys thank you have a nice day bye bye